Okay, so this is a video on the Pythagorean theorem. Um, the basic idea here is that if I have a right triangle, and I know that this is A, and this is B, and this is C, then A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So this is not an entirely new idea, nothing that you haven't seen before. Um, proving this is actually kind of straightforward. Okay, so I'm going to play a little bit of a trick here to, in order to make the proof work. Um, I'm going to go and I'm going to build a square. Okay, I'm going to say I'm going to pick the same point on all, oops, not that one, all four sides of the square. And I'm going to connect those. So essentially what I have done here is I have made four congruent right triangles. So these are all right triangles. And we're going to label the sides of these appropriately. So the short side in all four triangles we're going to call A. The medium length side we're going to call B. And the long side we're going to call C. Okay, so if I do this correctly, then A squared should be equal to, or A squared plus B squared should be equal to C squared. Okay, so if I think about this, the area of the triangle on the outside, so the length of this is A plus B. The length of this is A plus B. So the area of the square on the outside is a plus b squared. Okay, now the area, another way of visualizing this area is it's the area of the big square, c squared, plus the area of each of these triangles. Well, there's four of those, right? So it's going to be four times, and the area of a triangle is one half its base, so we can make either um, a or B the base, so let's make the base A times its height B. So let's simplify this a little bit. So that's C squared, one half, so plus, right? C squared plus, half of four is two A B. All right, and we'll just bring this down. All right, so on this side, that's the same as a plus b times a plus b is equal to c squared plus 2ab. So we're going to do binomial multiplication here. So that's a squared plus the outers ab plus the inners ab plus the last b squared is equal to c squared plus 2ab. So these are the same, so I can combine those like terms. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is c squared plus 2ab. And then we subtract the two ab's. And lo and behold, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Voila! So given a right triangle, abc, right? We know that the a squared plus the b squared is equal to the c squared. That is a proof of the Pythagorean theorem. We've got it. All right. So where do we go from here? Okay, so this theorem also has a converse. So we're going to call this the converse to the Pythagorean theorem. Okay. So we're going to have a triangle ABC where C is the longest side. Okay, so when? Okay, so we're always going to put the C squared on the left here. And we're going to put the A squared plus B squared on the right. When c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, this is going to be a right triangle. 
Okay, that's exactly what we expect. If c squared is bigger than a squared plus b squared, and this almost directly follows from like our hinge theorem, we're no longer going to be a right triangle. We're getting the longest side is getting bigger, so this is going to be moving to an obtuse triangle. And finally, if c squared is less than a squared plus b squared, we're moving to an acute triangle. So this is the converse of the Pythagorean theorem it gives me an ability to know which equation or inequality will give me what type of triangle. All right, so there we go. Um, this is actually kind of a corollary between the Pythagorean theorem and the hinge theorem, and we don't need any actual additional proof for this. So there you go. There's your whole video on the Pythagorean theorem.